Hey, you guys. You would not believe what's going on. Have you heard this Amber Heard? The same thing is going on in my court case. I mean, it is the exact. The only difference is there's like about at least three or four Amber Heards in my case. The defendants and my judge is an Amber Heard. You don't believe it? You go and check. Sandra Black versus Naomi Fried Richardson. You look up order number 28, okay? That's submission number 28 that the judge submits. And she says that the whole case is about Sandra Black having her son and her grandchildren illegally in living in the home that they weren't on the lease. Then you go to mycase.gov, mycase.in for Indiana. Gov, and you look up Hunter's Run versus Sandra Black, where they lost because there was no evidence of anybody living in my home. But this judge refuses to look at that. She won't even consider the state order where the judge found that. It's not, I mean, she mentions it, but that's not proof that there was nobody living in my house. And so she then she fabricates it and makes it up. Where on page, in, in the order, page eight, item, no, I'm sorry, page four, item eight. The judge says, my son and my grandchildren live on the lease. How does she just get to make up that I'm guilty? Well, I do have the color, the complexion for being guilty, you guys. But this got to end, this Karen Amber Heard type situations that are going on. I'm sick of it. <laughs> I can't wait to see what this outcome is going to be. But I already know in the end, I win. Because when you have the truth on your side, you you could be the worst attorney. I'm telling you, the worst attorney. And I am a bad attorney. 